So hello everybody, welcome back to the office. So uh, it's been a great week. I mean, not for cryptocurrency digital assets uh, in reality, but it's been a pretty good week uh, for digital asset news. I mean, I had Roger Veer on this week and I also had Alex Mashinsky from Celsius. And uh, those to me are two titans in the industry and I couldn't ask for anything better. So uh, thanks for everybody who watched those videos and uh, thanks to Alex and Roger for coming on the show. Really appreciate it, they're welcome back anytime, especially with all the great information that they have. So yesterday we talked to Alex and he told us all about Celsius and that guy, let me tell you, that guy should be a politician because there are these talking points that he hits on every single time I've seen on every type of video that he's ever had and uh, he just is able to like really maneuver things into it. And not that's a bad thing, that's actually an impressive thing. I mean, as far as a marketer myself, I can appreciate that. So um, when we start talking about Celsius and why I use it as my one-two punch, it's because of that guy. And uh, I talked yesterday about how I took my cryptocurrency, my whole portfolio, and 25% of that is now at Celsius because I like to gain interest on things that uh, I don't have to do anything for. I just let it sit there and it's just passive income. Um, I like that option a lot and I think it's going to be great, especially when they start to open up the whole stable coins to US residents. I mean, maybe in some other states, but like Texas, I can't put it into USDC. But right now, I'm telling you right now, for my three businesses, once they open that up, I will take a huge chunk of uh, all my cash assets that I have, just cash laying around a bank that's doing absolutely nothing, and I will stick it right into uh, Celsius. Uh, that is no problem for me. But um, one of the things that, that came up uh, in the discussion, in the comments section, was somebody asked, this is from Arthur, and he states, I thought right from the get-go, Celsius and Alex were a great thing. My only hesitation is the funds aren't insured in any way, at least the last time I looked, has it changed? Still maintain the not your keys, not your crypto philosophy. And that's true. You know, like uh, if you put it on Voyager or Celsius or any type of exchange, you got to understand you're giving up uh, some authority, some power, because you're letting them handle it. However, you're, you're letting them loan those things out. And with Celsius, they're going to loan those out to institutions. So if you want to go that route, then you can or you cannot. It's, it's up to you. Me personally, for me and what I want to do, I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. But for me, I mean, it's sitting in the bank anyhow. And especially if it's sitting on exchanges or like these little, little uh, cryptocurrencies that you're like, well, you know, I got a little bit of Stellar here or whatever else. I'm just going to put it on to Celsius as opposed to having it sit on some uh, exchange doing absolutely nothing. I'll, you know, that's what I did. I just crunched them all down, stuck them all on Celsius, and that was it. But the big question then is, well, if it's on Celsius, how do they, um, how do they ensure that? How do we know that these aren't just going to, you know, walk away? Or Alex Mashinsky uh, is just going to pick up and, you know, say, I'm taking all my sushi and I'm out of here. I'm just kidding. He doesn't do sushi uh, swap. But uh, so the answer was actually answered uh, by DJ Blind Faith. So DJ Blind Faith, thanks so much for, you know, doing my job. <laughs> I appreciate it. And he says, he states, they are insured in the network or when they are with their custodians, but not when they are out on loan. That's why they take collateral. So I was like, that's a fantastic response. And I even went so far as to take a look at uh, the FAQ on Celsius to make sure that is documented somewhere. And this is exactly what it says. And I actually put a link in the exchange list of my uh, fees and exchange list on the Google spreadsheet. Uh, that is in every single description of every video that I do. And there's a link that's gonna look like that. And you can find links to exchanges and everything that I use. And also, if you want to use the affiliate links, you don't have to. You can go right to Voyager or, or, or uh, Celsius and do everything you want to. But if you use the affiliate links, you get 10 or $25, depending on what it is. So uh, in there, I put a link uh, to this FAQ. And it states, the question is, can you offer any insurance at all for my deposit? And the answer is, uh, Fireblocks and Prime Trust are custodians. Both provide insurance on assets. However, we generate interest rewards by lending out the assets to onboarded partners or institutions. When these assets are lent out, they are not insured. Let me say that again. When they lend them out, they are not insured. So you're probably thinking, well, that sucks. But the great thing is, is that all they state all of our coin loans are collateralized up to 150%, meaning the borrower gives Celsius 
an alternative asset as collateral for the asset they are borrowing. So right there, that is the, that is the greatest thing, right? So you're like, okay, well, it, it is collateralized, so that's great. But another question that came up was, well, if they're given collateralized assets as far as you know, U.S. dollar, but what happens if it's they're, they're given something collateralized in uh, cryptocurrency? So these are the things with loans. And when they loan things out, even in March, what they do not want to do, and Alex has talked about this many a time, he says is they do not want to liquidate anybody because they want everybody to have a great experience, which makes sense, right? I mean, if you're having a great experience and you trust a company, you will come back. It is so much easier to retain customers than get a new customer, which is why I do not understand uh, this 100x leverage trading and everybody gets wrecked. They're like, ah, you know, pound sand, get the heck out of here. We don't, we don't care about you. So sorry you had a, a bad experience, uh, but uh, we'll find some other, somebody else. That's not what Celsius does. They go, you know what? Um, don't, we don't want you to get liquidated. And even in March, out of all the different assets that they had out, everything, all the lens that they had out, they said, look, things really took a big tumble. We need you to update your, your collateralized assets and either increase or pay back the loan. And out of all of them, they only had three people that they had to liquidate. And that's a pretty good, I mean, in March, well, what was it, March 3rd, March 18th, somewhere around there, when everything went to, went to hell in a handbasket. So they, um, you know, they did the right thing and uh, they had a lot of happy people. So the same thing happens here. So I am happy with that. The next thing that came up, which is always the big question, which is this, which is, well, where is Celsius? Where am I able to actually use this? So, you know, uh, I can't. There's, there's parts of Celsius I can use as a Texas resident in the United States. And there's parts that I can't. Like, I can't earn Celsius. Kind of sucks. Uh, I can get on Uniswap if I want to depending on the cruddy fees right now. Uh, but that's about it. And I, you know, I can't use any kind of stable coins or I can't earn interest in stable coins. It's just taxes, right? What are you going to do? So the question then was, well, what about other states? What about other territories? What about other countries? How do I know if I can use Celsius? So I actually sent, I took a look at the FAQ. I could not find it anywhere. So I sent an email to customer support and I said, hey, um, I just want to find a list of like where Celsius is offered. And uh, Melina uh, emailed me back. She says, hello. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have a list of countries where Celsius is available because of the same reason I mentioned in the previous uh, email, which was, hold on, let me pull this up. She states, uh, Celsius accounts are not available where prohibited by law or by Celsius policy as updated from time to time. Currently, Countries like Iran, North Korea, Sudan, South Sudan, Syria, Cuba, or any other country against which the United States, the United Kingdom, or the European Union imposes financial sanctions or embargoes. Uh, we can't do anything with those, apparently. Be advised that in some jurisdictions, due to regulatory considerations, Celsius may not provide part or all the services, you know, for me, which may include some eligible digital currencies or the cell token. And then... They just say that due to the uh, changing regulatory issues, they're going to put the information on or they're going to you know, let us know from time to time, which I thought sucked because I'm like, why don't you just put on the website and then just update the website? Because I asked them again, hey, can you send me a, a complete list? I said, no, we won't do that. So that's a bummer. And in my email, I said, look, you can do it one of two ways. Um, you can have, you can give it to me and I can post it somewhere. Or you can just keep getting people constantly contacting you and uh, sucking up everybody's time and customer support going, is this offered here? Is this offered here? Is this offered here? So I don't understand the reluctance of just giving, just posting like, okay, it's available in the United States, but in this state, in this state, you can't do it. It's not available in these countries. It's not available in these territories. Just put it out and update the website. I don't see the problem. But I mean, we had Alex on here yesterday and the first question was, Customer support is lacking. What are you doing? And he said, look, he goes, we're at growing pains. We, I think he said double or triple or something like that in like six months. He goes, so we needed to onboard new customer support reps. Problem is when you get somebody new, it takes them a little while to get their feet wet. And now they're up to speed. And everything should be better. I got it. So, I mean, it's just me thinking out loud. Uh, I could be incorrect, but I just think it's easier just to um, not monopolize, to... Um, automate different responses so that it's just easier for customer service to deal with the real issues 
which is whatever those are. Anyhow, uh, so that's it for the Q of the day. Let's, uh, let's jump back. All right, so that's it. So hope that answered some questions. Uh, there's some questions that I had uh, for Celsius, so that was good. Uh, if you don't know, I have a second channel, and it's called Digital Asset News Clips. The reason I did it was for two reasons. First of all, uh, people uh, are short on time, and time is money. So every subject that we, t we cover here every single day gets broken up and put into the clip. So the big thing is just to save time. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that YouTube likes to, for some reason, shut down and delete YouTube or cryptocurrency digital asset channels. And this has happened numerous times to some of even the top uh, crypto uh, YouTubers. So I create this as a second channel just in case as a backup. Now I'm also on library and some other uh, different places, but those get like a whopping 20 views a day. So if you're into that, sure, but I would highly recommend or I'd highly hope that you could do me a favor and go over to Digital Asset News Clips and subscribe. I don't usually ask for subscriptions, but this is like my backup and I figure it might help you out too if you just want to have certain clips. And I also do one bonus video over there. So if you have to want to find more information, there is a place to go for. Also, I just want to give some shout outs to everybody who has joined up Digital Asset News. And I just do random shout outs. So Mark, welcome. Mr. Toad, hype me up. Who else we got? TTP911, Jimmy G, Babs, like that. Crypt and Crypto Swords. So fantastic. So thanks so much for uh, sticking with me throughout the whole video. Really appreciate it. If you like these types of videos, it's going to be two. It's going to uh, pop up in your left and right. Not sure YouTube pretty much controls all that stuff, but I'm going to strangle them and uh, put in that video on paying no crypto taxes. And uh, that is it. So thanks a lot for checking those out. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.